and forth in front of the stage <laughs> as you're mixing them up. Now, you're always going to keep them face down, okay? So you won't know what card is what, but you're going to race back and forth, okay? Now, I need, I'm sorry? That sounds kind of difficult. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to run far. <laughs> you don't have to go all the way to the wings and everything like that. But, uh, you know, you don't knock yourself out. Uh, it's hot outside. But, uh, now, so that you know when to start and stop, I'm going to get a starter from the audience and a stopper, a finisher from the audience. And I'm going to ask my sister Sue who drove in all the way from Ohio. Yeah. And it has been a godsend to me these last couple of days, along with my lovely wife, Tricia. Uh, I'm going to ask her to be the starter. Now, when you say go, Kevin's going to start running. Okay? And we're going to be mixing the cards. Now, I need someone to be, uh, for lack of a better term, stopper uh, on this side. Um, Bill, 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 Bill. Bill, Bill. Bill, would you stop? <laughs> so when he says stop, you'll stop running, you'll stop shuffling, and you'll keep the cards face down the whole time. Okay? Alright. So more running. <laughs> okay. There are your cards. And it's time for our first race. Go. <laughs> go, go, go. Yeah, keep excellent, excellent. Can you do a canter for <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Oh, oh no, a horse down, horse down. Go <laughs> ahead, no, come on. Stop. stop. Okay, he said stop. Okay, good. All right, good. Now, what card, you know what the nine cards are, what card would you think is on the top of that? The three of diamonds on it. Let's see. The nine. So close. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Good job. Uh, so that's why you're okay, I'm trying to control it to the top. Okay. Um, all right, good. Now it's time for the go. second row. Oh, she said go already. <laughs> run, Kevin, run. <laughs> uh, it's <laughs> uh, well, actually, you know, I've done it, so I, I okay, uh, all right, well, again, now, obviously, you don't want to take the nine, because we've already had it. <laughs> what card do you think is now on the top? Are you going to stick with the three, or? Uh, no, let's mix it up. Say four. Four. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the eight, but we're getting there. All right, go ahead. Next race. No. Yeah, and uh, horse shoes. <laughs> did you? I'm sorry, did you say stop? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> now you got us. Yeah, we're, we're getting down, we're getting down here. So we've got you know, a one out of seven chance. Now, what do you think that is? Go with a seven. Go with a seven. There's a good pattern going on here. It's a two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so close. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stop. On this side for a change. Cool. All right. All right. So far, we've got the nine, the eight, and the two. The last chance for romance here. What do you think that top card is? Five. Oh. Close. <laughs> Say it with me. So, so close. close. <laughs> All right. Really. Uh, good job. Good job. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's it. That's it. Um, yeah, that's it. Alright, we'll pin this one up here and we'll see what we got. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
He hit everyone. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yay! see anything but but light through there yeah. okay good if you can't neither can I okay uh, <laughs> now why <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm so sorry uh, <coughs> let me see if I can do this see <laughs> 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 He, he doesn't need this anymore. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now why ping pong balls? Because the eyelashes blinking might be a distraction. So they wanted to block out all sensory input except light. And by, by looking through a white ping pong ball, you're basically seeing just white noise, you know, I have that audio, but you're seeing just white light. And interestingly enough, the subjects that are wearing the Gansfield goggles are doing much better than chance, much better than 25%. They're able to score about 30%. Now here's the interesting part. The way they're scored is the sender and the receiver don't get together and compare notes and say, okay, it was a cauliflower, but I was thinking of a Chevy. You know, I mean, <laughs> uh, no. in the Gansfeld experiments, they give the data to an impartial panel, a third party of people. They sit down and they say, is this a match? Did the sender send the appropriate target to the receiver and so on? That's really cutting edge, and they're doing you know 30 percent. And they found that creative people tend to do even better than 30 percent. They, they're like 33 percent. For example, they tested a bunch of kids at Juilliard, and and they scored higher than the uh, than the other folks that, that were uh, were doing it. So I would like to try a little Gansfeld experiment tonight. Now, <clears throat> for this, I need the help of someone who can really follow directions. Okay, so let's do a little test. If you would like to be part of this experiment, hold up your hand. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> hold up your hand, all right. Hold up one finger, your index finger. <laughs> Are you holding hers up or is she holding yours up? Either one. Okay, whatever. All right? So you're not in, is what you're saying. Okay. Um, I can't see. Is there anybody up in the back? Who's? Yeah. I don't think they're Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, just, I just can't. All right. One finger up. Now, put that finger down. It's like Simon says, isn't it? Put that finger down and hold up your pinky. Okay? Put your pinky down and make one of these symbols and put it on your cheek. <laughs> All right. Not your cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Will you help me? Come on down. Now, 
I'm going to just divide them into a couple of lines here. And this is where this is where the ends fell. I'm going to stand over here. <laughs> now you laugh. <laughs> but if I had red light on me, this would be a cakewalk. <laughs> okay. Kate. Yes. In front of you, you have two piles of envelopes. On top of those two piles, you have a symbol. Okay. Will you pick up the top envelope from either of those piles and put it in your left hand? You got it? Okay. Now, you've still got two piles, but it may be a different symbol. All right? Same thing. From either of the two piles, pick up one envelope from the top and put it in your left hand. Done that? Now, I think you can see where we're going. Do that again with a third card, I mean a third envelope. Pick up one of the top two envelopes, put it in your left hand. Yes? Yes. Okay. So now you've got three envelopes in your left hand. Do another one, one from either pile, put it in your left hand, and then do another one from either pile. Okay, so double check. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, either pile, left hand. Um, now let me just double check. You have five cards or five envelopes in your left hand. Yes. Okay. Would you spread them so that you can see the symbols? Okay. Concentrate on those symbols. Okay. I'm getting. Uh, it's a figure eight. No, wait a minute. There's no figure. Oh, I know what it is. It's two. It's two circles and a, a cross and a box and wavy lines. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, would you discard those to the side? We're not going to use them again, okay? <laughs> Folks, uh, if mind-to-mind -mind communication, what is known as telepathy exists. I think that that's pretty much what it looks like. Okay. Kate, you still have two piles. You've got a discard pile we're done with, but you've still got the two piles in front of you, right? All right, would you flip both of the piles over? Just pick one up, put it back down, upside down. Pick the other one up, put it back down, upside down. So you're still going to have two piles. The difference, of course, here now is that you are not looking at symbols, right? Okay, would you pick one of the top two envelopes and put it in your left hand? I don't need to stretch this out. Do the same thing with a second envelope in your left hand. Same thing with a third envelope in your left hand. Uh, get a fourth one, one from either pile, and then a fifth one. Okay? So you've got five envelopes in your left hand, right? Yes. Okay. Now, you're looking at the blank backs of the envelopes. Yes. But would you spread them apart and hold them up in front of you like a book? Mm -hmm. Okay. I heard, I heard someone think up there, okay, well, he's just reading our minds now. Okay. Put them back. <laughs> <laughs> just put them back down. Mm -hmm. okay. So you're holding them flat. Okay. I think you've got a star and a box, two boxes, and two wavy lines. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Is that right? Okay. Folks, I, you know, if if what is known as clairvoyance exists, I think it would look something like that. In other words, there was no mind-to-mind -mind communication. It was just, in effect, reading the minds of the inanimate envelopes. Okay? Now, for this one, I'm not going to look over at you, Kate, but I don't need the Gansfeld goggles because the 
demonstrate the third kind of ESP that can be tested with, uh, with the Rhine cards, I'm going to try to see something that hasn't happened. Thank <laughs> you. 